NASA is saying the Voyager 2 probe is now in a space between the stars after exiting the sun's protective bubble, which is called the heliosphere. After nearly five decades drifting through the vastness of interstellar space, Voyager 2 has once again defied expectations. Recently, NASA scientists confirmed that the aging spacecraft had transmitted data revealing what they described internally as an impossible discovery, something that challenges long-held beliefs about the structure and behavior of the space beyond our solar system. This wasn't just another moment in a long line of scientific breakthroughs. It was a genuine shock, the kind that forces researchers to reevaluate fundamental assumptions about the universe. The discovery was made as Voyager 2, now more than 12 billion miles from Earth, continued its lonely voyage through the interstellar medium, where the sun's influence fades and the galaxy's secrets begin to unfold. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. Voyager 2, launched in 1977, was never expected to travel this far or last this long. Originally designed for a grand tour of the outer planets, its mission expanded over the decades, gradually evolving into an interstellar sentinel. As it ventured beyond the heliosphere, the vast bubble of solar particles and magnetic fields that surrounds the solar system, Voyager 2 entered a region once considered largely empty, cold, and uniform. But what it found was something astonishing, complex, dynamic structures that defied established models. Among the most baffling were magnetic field reversals, unexplained plasma oscillations, and irregularities in cosmic ray distribution, all occurring in a realm that was supposed to be comparatively featureless. What made this discovery truly impossible in the eyes of many scientists was the realization that interstellar space is not a calm, passive void. Instead, the data suggested it was seething with turbulence and unexpected activity. One of the key findings centered around the behavior of magnetic fields beyond the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's solar wind is no longer strong enough to push back the interstellar medium. According to previous models, the magnetic fields in this region should align smoothly and predictably. Voyager 2 revealed, however, that these fields twist and shift in ways that can't be fully explained by existing theories. These disturbances weren't fleeting, isolated events. They were sustained, patterned, and inconsistent with the prevailing understanding of how magnetic fields behave in deep space. More striking still was the behavior of high-energy particles. Voyager 2 recorded sudden sharp increases and drops in cosmic ray intensities, hinting at barriers or clumping mechanisms previously unknown to astrophysicists. These were not gradual transitions, but abrupt shifts suggesting the presence of unknown forces or structures at work. Some researchers hypothesized that these anomalies could be evidence of localized magnetic islands or turbulent eddies in the plasma flows of interstellar space, concepts that would force a reimagining of how galactic energy is transported and dissipated on a cosmic scale. Adding to the puzzle was the behavior of plasma itself. Plasma a charged state of matter that dominates both the solar wind and the interstellar medium, was long assumed to become diffuse and tranquil once freed from the direct influence of the sun. Voyager 2's instruments contradicted this, showing regions of dense, vibrating plasma oscillating in harmonics far more intense than expected. These were not gentle ripples, but robust waves, carrying energy and possibly information across vast distances. The characteristics of these plasma oscillations hinted at interactions with unseen structures or even boundaries not previously accounted for, perhaps layers or shells of varying interstellar density formed by ancient supernova remnants or gravitational wave echoes. This discovery had profound implications. The assumption that interstellar space was a near-perfect vacuum was already outdated, but Voyager 2's readings made it undeniable that the space beyond the solar system is a complex, dynamic environment. This revelation challenges everything from the way scientists model the protective bow shock that shields our solar system, to how they understand the journey of cosmic radiation and the evolution of stars. If Voyager 2's data holds across broader measurements, it suggests that deep space is structured more like an ocean with currents, waves, and turbulence than the cold, dead void many had imagined. The implications stretch into astrophysics planetary science, and even cosmology. For one, these findings call into question how cosmic rays propagate through the galaxy. 
Cosmic rays are high energy particles that travel near the speed of light, and understanding their movement is critical to both space weather forecasting and the design of future space missions. If interstellar space is far more chaotic and active than believed, then models of cosmic ray transport may be deeply flawed. This could change predictions about radiation exposure for future interstellar probes or even human explorers venturing beyond the Moon and Mars. Moreover, the magnetic field anomalies may provide new insight into how stars influence their surrounding environments over time. Magnetic fields are known to play a crucial role in star formation, solar activity, and the shaping of galactic structures. If Voyager 2's readings are representative of a wider phenomenon, they could be the first step toward unraveling how magnetic fields evolve in interstellar space, an area that remains one of the least understood in astrophysics. This might also have implications for how we detect and study exoplanets, particularly those in interstellar regions with unusual magnetic characteristics. Another startling dimension of the discovery was the suggestion that Voyager 2 might have passed through or come near structures that are difficult to explain with current physical models. Some scientists have speculated these could be interstellar filaments, dense thread-like formations made of plasma and magnetic energy akin to cosmic web structures seen at galactic scales. If confirmed, this would be the first direct evidence of such formations at the edge of our solar system, suggesting a level of organization in deep space far beyond what was assumed. It could also hint at new mechanisms for how matter and energy coalesce and move at interstellar distances. These findings might also influence the way we search for extraterrestrial life. One of the overlooked aspects of space exploration is how interstellar environments could affect both the origin and sustainability of life in the galaxy. If the space between stars is teeming with energy-rich, organized plasma and magnetic fields, then the conditions for microbial travel or even the transfer of biological material across solar systems become slightly more plausible. Panspermia, the theory that life can spread through space on dust or meteorites, gains new context in a universe where deep space is not as sterile or uniform as once believed. In a broader sense, this impossible discovery by Voyager 2 redefines our place in the cosmos. Humanity has always imagined space as a place of silent stillness, but the reality emerging from this data is far more kinetic and alive. Every twist in a magnetic field, every unexpected plasma pulse, is a reminder that space is not a static backdrop. It's a constantly changing frontier. Voyager 2's endurance and capabilities have allowed us to glimpse this hidden turbulence, and it may just be the beginning of an entirely new chapter in astrophysical research. Part of what makes this moment so profound is that it wasn't predicted. Despite decades of theoretical modeling, computer simulations, and analog studies, no one saw this coming. The impossible nature of the discovery isn't just a rhetorical flourish. It's a genuine reflection of how unprepared even the best minds were for what Voyager 2 found. It serves as a humbling reminder that while we have learned much about the universe, we've barely scratched the surface when it comes to understanding what lies beyond our cosmic neighborhood. NASA engineers and scientists are now poring over terabytes of data, trying to piece together a cohesive explanation. The spacecraft, still functioning long past its original expected lifespan, continues to deliver invaluable readings, even as it moves deeper into the unknown. Each new data packet adds complexity to the picture, pushing scientists to devise new models, create new simulations, and imagine possibilities that just a few years ago would have been dismissed as science fiction. This discovery could also influence the future of space exploration technology, Understanding the nature of interstellar space is critical for the development of next-generation propulsion systems, navigation protocols, and shielding mechanisms. If space beyond the heliopause is as dynamic as Voyager 2 suggests, then future missions will need to account for variables that were once considered negligible. This could lead to innovations in spacecraft design, perhaps with more adaptive magnetic shielding or advanced plasma detection systems, that would not only make interstellar travel more feasible, but safer. Voyager 2's accomplishment is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. Its instruments, though now primitive by modern standards, have proven remarkably resilient and precise. Operating in temperatures nearing absolute zero and communicating across billions of miles, it remains a beacon of curiosity and courage. And through it, 
the cosmos has whispered back in a voice far stranger and more energetic than we ever imagined. The idea that something launched during the Carter administration could still be rewriting the laws of space physics nearly 50 years later is as inspiring as it is mind-bending. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Voyager 2's impossible NASA discovery after years? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.